Yes, Anand Rangnathan and then Adit Kothari. Yeah. Yes, the DNA not only runs in the administration, unfortunately, it's in the family as well. In 1985, Anand, as you just said, Khalistanis blew up Air India Flight 182, killing 329 persons. Miss Amarjeet Kaur, the widow of the ex-Indian Air Force and AI-182 pilot Captain Binder, SS Binder, hmm. claimed justice wasn't done. Our fight is ours alone, she said, crying. But she was right. Hmm. All accused had walked free. And you know why? Because Trudeau's father refused to hand over AI-182 bombers, including the dreaded terrorist Parmar. And you know what his reason was? That India, quote, is not deferential enough to Her Majesty the Queen, unquote. This was his father. Fast forward to 2023 and we have Trudeau Jr. at the helm. But as you know, Anand, an apple never falls far from the tree. Hmm. Justin Trudeau, just like his father did three decades ago, is kowtowing to Khalistani terrorists just to placate the increasingly influential vote bank. Honestly, Osama bin Laden should have taken up Canadian citizenship because had he done so, <laughs> he would still be alive. Quite possibly lounging about in a villa in Ottawa, just off Sussex Drive, with his five wives and 24 children, munching pizzas, guzzling non-alcoholic cocktails, watching CBC report on Canadian and American governments expelling each other's diplomats in an angry tit for tat. And as for hypocrisy of Trudeau, he is the same guy, Anand, who congratulated America for killing Al Zawahiri. Hmm. He said, quote, killing of Zawahiri is a step towards a safer world. Canada will keep working with our global partners to counter terror threats, unquote. But when it comes to someone that India is designated as a terrorist, someone who was heading a terror outfit, who bombed and assassinated innocents, then suddenly Trudeau enters into an apoplectic pit. And this despite the fact that Niger was in Canada for more than a decade before he obtained Canadian citizenship. How? India had repeatedly demanded his extradition and was repeatedly denied. Why? Why was Trudeau quiet, by the way, when ISI killed a Baluch activist? Let's face it, Trudeau is the Rahul Gandhi of Canada. Both are unabashed dynasts, both jump into issues without knowing an iota about them, and then both leave it to their dynasts, our pairs, to disentangle them from the ensuing mess. Forever with an eye on the vote bank, the Canadian Gandhi, much like his Chinese Gandhi counterpart here, hmm. Revved up with a kumkar bandana and kirpan by his hip for the Gurdwara run, like the temple run here. Earlier, Trudeau had displayed his monumental ignorance when he supported the anti-farm brown protest, hmm. without realizing that our farm bills, Anand, were all about giving the farmers a choice, yeah. like what Canadian farmers have. That's how progress and development happen through evolution, Darwinian competition, through expunging monopolies and an overbearing state, through morally just capitalism. Trudeau has it in Canada. He didn't want it in India. But that's not what this is all about. Look, finally, just one minute. Trudeau, much to his own charging, is the fact that he is doing nothing to stop the funding of secessionist groups in Canada who want to foment trouble in India. Even Congress's Captain Amrinder and Manish Tiwari, whose own father was killed by Khalistani terrorists, were angry at Trudeau. Remember how the captain had refused to even meet Trudeau's minister, Sajjan, yes, for this very reason? Yeah. Yes, and now the attack on our temples, our embassies and making of kill lists, the grisly tableau showing Khalistanis gunning down our ex-Prime Minister. And what does Trudeau do? Give patronizing sermons saying Canada stands for free speech. Rubbish. Hmm. Our spine is now showing the true colors and I'm very thankful for it. Tensions have escalated between India and Canada due to recent events. Canadian Prime Minister Justin Trudeau suggested a possible connection between the Indian government and the assassination of a pro-Khalistan leader in Canada earlier this year. This allegation has strained relations between the two countries and has led to a diplomatic standoff. The situation has also impacted trade negotiations between India and Canada. The clash between India and Canada is rooted in various factors, including tensions related to pro-Khalistan elements. The severity of the allegations, combined with the economic and demographic ties between the two countries, has raised concerns for all parties involved. In this debate, Anand Sir pointed out the mistake of Trudeau's father whose vote bank politics cost hundreds of Indians' life. I think Canada must stop funding the Khalistan movement and follow the path of international peace and harmony which they keep on chanting when it comes to Ukraine and Russia or India and Pakistan. I hope you have enjoyed the video. If you like the content do consider hitting like and subscribe. See you in the next video.